What's up guys, welcome back to another Diesel Dog Garage video. Something a little different today, I thought I'd do a uh, boot review. <clears throat> One year, stopping around in these Ariat work boots here. This is the first pair of Ariat work boots I've ever had. I've had a pair of ropers just for wearing around. Uh, probably had those for six years, seven years now. Still going strong, I don't wear them as much as I used to. Uh, like I said, it's the first work boot I tried from Ariat. Uh, I actually only bought these just because they were on sale at the local Buckites uh, for a hundred bucks. They're like originally 150 or 160, some. They're composite toe. They've held up pretty good, and I'm gonna go over this in this review. Uh, first, I like to show you my credentials. Red Wings. Red Wings. Red Wings. Irish Setters, basically Red Wings. Wolverines. I'm gonna get into these freaking puppies here. My slippers, AKA my Dickies wedge soles, uh, mock toe wedge soles, 70 bucks. These things are like, <sighs> sleep in those things. So up until a couple years ago, I would have told you the best work boot you could buy is Red Wings. And I, I'm not saying they're not good work boots anymore. Uh, the problem is, these are the work boots from Red Wings I was using. I forget what model they are. Uh, your basic Red Wing, six inch, steel toe, laced up boot. I was getting like two or three years out of these things. Uh, the first pair I bought was 125 bucks at the Rural King. I went back after those wore out and they were then went up to 150. They wore out, I went back for another one, they were 180. Uh, and then after that pair, they were up to like 250 bucks. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna have to try to find something else. Couldn't afford them at the time. So I've had three pairs of these, I got two with me. Um, they wore out good. I always wear out the left toe before the right one because I favor my right knee it's a bad knee got a bum knee and left one's not far behind anymore but so i always kneel down on my left knee so i always get worn down my steel toes on the left toe there pretty quickly and you can see that's these these things are shot once they get about there you know you're you're ready for some new boots you pay good money for them might as well get your money's worth so anyways after i decided i didn't want to try to buy a pair of these i tried to go to the Wolverines, which these were about 150 bucks, I'd say. Right out of the box, super comfortable boots. Love these boots. I was super disappointed in these after about three months um, because if you look in the heels inside there where the heel sits, that cap was just cloth. And I mean, it wasn't long before that started, the glue started separating. It started bunching up on the heel every time I put them in. Then I started getting it tearing over here. I tried using fishing line to sew it all back together and it worked for pretty good for a while. Uh, but then it just kept coming apart and now I can like pull the whole thing out if I want. So I had to give up on these. I think they only lasted like six months, eight months or something. I was pretty disappointed. Like I said, they're super comfortable boots. It just didn't hold up and I mean, that's the whole point of buying a good pair of work boots you want them to hold up. Fast forward, <clears throat> tried buying a pair of the uh, Irish Setter boots here. Um, I don't think these are bad boots for the money. They're the cheaper line of the Red Wings. Um, the soles wore out real quick, uh, real hard on the heels. I got real high arch so my heels wear out and up by my toes, especially where my big toe rides, just wears right through. I ended up having to swap the Wolverine insoles into these. Uh, they started separating already in the soles in the fronts after not even wearing them too long. 
joys of having children. So they already weren't holding up. And the only other thing was they stretched out. Like they fit really good. I always, you always want slip on boots a little bit tight right out of the box. They're gonna be uncomfortable, but they're gonna wear in after a while and stretch out. And you wanna anticipate that. Um, you don't wanna have to all of a sudden be wearing like super thick socks to compensate for that. But these stretched out a lot and they started getting really loose and uh, they just were super uncomfortable. So I decided I'm just gonna buy a different pair of boots and I'll just save these for when I gotta dig in the mud or something or go four wheeling or whatever. Good looking boots. So once they got worn in, they were good looking boots. You can see some of that's not holding up. I really didn't wear these long. I mean, a few months. Uh, so decided to go with something different. That's when I decided I'd try out the Ariat boots. Like I said, they were on sale. I thought maybe I'll try to get a few months out of these and see how they hold up and then just save up for a you know, pair of thorough goods, something made in the USA again, spend the money on another pair of nice Red Wings. Uh, but let me say, don't sleep on the Ariat boots, man. These things have held up pretty good. Now, I'm a diesel mechanic and I'd say some people might argue me, but your diesel mechanics, their boots are going to wear out a little bit faster than, say, your automotive mechanic or someone not working on as heavy as equipment as a semi-truck or a dump truck or anything like that. The shop I work at now, I'm down on the ground, I'm kneeling a lot more, I'm crawling all over these things a lot more than when I was in the automotive industry, uh, which is primarily where I worked when I had these boots. So anyways, I tried these, got them a little bit tighter. I usually wear a size nine in a regular lace-up boot. These, I went with an eight full size lower. Um, these fit pretty good. They're, I like them because they're a little bit more slender. They're not as bulky of a toe as say your regular Red Wing or Irish Setter Wellington boot, slip-on boot. A little bit more low profile. It's a nice solid toe. I haven't worn through the toe yet, and I think that's probably because the sole is kind of a, it just kind of sticks out a little more. It's a little bit wider sole all around the base of your foot there. So the toe not wearing out is definitely something that's impressed me, and uh, as far as I can tell, is well worth the money. Uh, once the toe starts blowing out, it just it's downhill from there. The other thing I'm super impressed with is the insoles like i said i blow these things out like crazy once i get a new pair of boots i almost always have to put another insoles in my boots these are the original insoles still you can see the cloth is wearing down naturally but you can see where i usually wear my boots down real bad in the toe right here uh right at the base of the big toe and then in my heel probably everyone wears their heels down you can see where my arch doesn't even touch the the insole there. Well, I should have probably cleaned the uh, dog hair off this thing before I did this, huh? So this is the original insole after a year, not even worn through all the way. The other side's the same way. Uh, here's the other impressive thing that I looked at before I bought these, but the heel cap is a leather piece in there. I've started to wear through the leather a little bit into the plastic of the heel, that cap, but it's still adhered to that plastic. It's not bunching up. It's not coming apart like the Wolverines did on me. And, you know, both sides are coming through, but I mean, even if that leather wears through, as long as that heel cap stays in place there, I mean, I'm still gonna wear these. Starting to get a little bit of cracking on the sole. Uh, I guess this would be the welt, the Goodyear welt on these things uh, starting to crack, but uh, still holding up. I'm not getting any separation anywhere around the base of the, the base of the leather to the sole. Uh, the other impressive thing, maybe you can see after wearing this boot for a few months, walking on the outsides of my feet like I do, I wear down the, the outsides of the heels real bad, all my boots, you can see worn down on the outside, worn down on the outside. These things are getting a little bit and they just started doing that after a year. I was watching them trying to, I kept looking at them like every day, like, holy crap, they're not even wearing down. 
telling people at work like they care. I'm like, dude, look, my boot that I'm wearing down the heel up. Hey, dude, nice. Yeah, nobody cares about your boots. But they just started doing that, literally. I mean, I was planning on making this video a while ago. I was like, can't wait to show everyone, but they did start wearing down just a hair. But uh, no, no major wearing down on the anywhere else on the bottoms. These things are super grippy. Love this sole here. It's a pretty good heel on. It's not a huge heel uh, where it's uncomfortable throughout the day. I like to sit pretty much flat footed and this heel is just perfect enough to get up ladders and crawl and stand on tie rod bars or whatever else I have to do. Never had a problem slipping in oil or antifreeze or anything like that. They held up. I've never oiled these. I don't oil my boots. They get enough 1540 on them the way it is or 7590, whatever comes first on a Monday morning. Nice looking leather after it wore in. I mean, I wear these things all throughout the week after work. Sometimes I'll change my boots into my slippers. On the weekends, if I'm working around the house, I'll put them on if I'm in the backyard or I'm in the garage. Sometimes I'll wear my slippers, but mainly I wear these things. I mean, nice broken, nothing nothing beats just a good broken pair of leather boots. And uh, I've really been a fan of the slip on boots lately. I wouldn't really call these cowboy boots. Some people call these the cowboy style boots, but I still would probably call them Wellingtons or just slip on boots. Um, a roper, the ropers I have prior would be considered cowboy boots. But if I keep wearing these and they, I start having issues, I'll probably just clean them up and hang on to them like I do all my boots. I need to throw these away. Obviously I'm not gonna be wearing those floppy ones anymore. They got the loops on there. I've never had to use them. I always am able to just grab my boots from the side. I never use the loops. These things fit perfectly. Like when I slip them on, they uh, they feel like laced up boots. Worn perfectly to my feet. So yeah, I'm not sure much more I can say. Five out of five stars for sure for me. I'm still not huge on the wearing the made in China boots. I've always been like, I gotta be made in America. And I still like that for the most part. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of try these out. And uh, honestly, I'm sold. I'm, su I'm, I'm surprised these things hold up as good as they do for being made in China. Uh, Ariad, I would say, makes a very good product. These aren't even the top of the line Ariat boots. You got like the work work hogs and this is the uh, style 10015191 if everyone anyone's curious. I'm not big on like numbers. What style is it? It's just, they're all Ariat boots to me. Some of them got better soles. The work hogs have like the nice soles. So after a year, like I said, I'm gonna keep running them. See how long they last. If they get to two years, I'll do a two year review and we'll see what they look like. Um, I kind of suspect I'll have to get a new pair of boots before then, but who knows? I mean, these things, they keep going. No point in getting another pair of boots if they're still going strong. They're super comfortable. They might turn into my slippers. I don't know. Maybe we'll be getting rid of the, uh, the old dickies. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me on my area boot review. If anyone has any questions or, uh, comments, Leave them down below. Let me know what boots you found best work for you in the trades. Uh, like I said, this is mainly a diesel mechanic, you know, perspective. Concrete workers, roofers, construction workers are going to have a little bit different boot that they probably find more comfortable throughout to wear throughout their day. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. Like the video, do all that stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.